Welcome, my friends, to Whatever Gaming. I'm Wes, the host of Whatever Gaming. I'm going to do some gaming here. So uh, we're going to play Mega Man. Start off with Mega Man 6 and see how it goes. And with that, let us continue. Okay, good. Of course, we have to do the uh, opening prologue here. Hail Papa Cotton, the 420th. Welcome, my friend. Yep, every once in a while we'll do a day stream. Hmm, I'm trying to remember which one of these is the easiest one. I think it was Nightman. out of Roman numerals? You'll never run out. Find the longest Roman numeral and use that one if you get nuked again. Uh, see, I don't like these things. This became a bad trope in some of the later games, unfortunately. Like, how do I not take damage there? Okay. Oh, that was stupid. How did that happen? So, Candace Owens gets fired. Well... I, I kind of feel like Steven Crowder was kind of right about Big Con. Cost you real money? That sucks. Oh, man. Why am I sucking at this game all of a sudden? I'm just going to commit suicide here and start again. There. You gotta shoot the thing, man! You had to get a new device? That sucks. like pretty extreme measures to have to do that. Yeah. Getting into the realm of cheap uh, 
cheap death seer, Mega Man 6. Hope that's the halfway point. Okay, good. That was useless, thank you. You banned you've been banned too many times? God damn, man. Wait, do I not have the rush coil? Yeah, it's lame that they ban people over stupid stuff like that. Patriot Act? Well, it, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I think we all are. And I got this, um, there's a new wing place called Wing Zone, which tastes better than Wing Stop. And they have this, uh, this stuff called Blackened Voodoo. I tell you, man, it's the best rub I've ever had on wings. Like, it starts off as kind of a smoky chipotle, and then, like, a couple of seconds later, it gets super hot. Uh, I appreciated the complexity of the flavors.
You got called a legend? Nice. Twitter followers on a steady rise. I do better on that site than this one. Yeah, I think I do too. Yeah, this game I do think is better than Mega Man 5. Mega Man 5, I think they cranked that. I guess this they were in development at the same time, this one and that one. God hoodie. It's gonna be, yeah, it probably will be too hot in Vegas. I heard Vegas gets really cold in the in the winter. When's a uh, monsoon season in Vegas? No, you don't, sir, madam. at the boss. That sucks. I tell you, man, crime sure seems to be on a rise in my area. Like, there's been a bunch of shootings and stabbings and murder-suicides. Like, what's going on in the world? Okay, I see the pattern now. Brutal says it's raining right now. Oh, wow. Rain or murder suicide? my last life? Shit. Damn it, I don't even like this stage. Oh, 
Well, we seem to have good news on the job and on the um, real estate front, thank God. Looks like I've got uh, two offers coming in on my listing, and I'm representing her on the purchase of her new house. So theoretically, when that's all said and done, that should put $15,000 in my pocket. And then I've got the uh, job opportunity I'm looking into as well. Which I should hear back on next week. Yeah, me and Papa were just talking about that RR. <laughs> I told him to find the one that's the longest. They had a lot of long ones towards the end of the uh, 20th century. I remember when the year 2000 hit and people were, they were just using the Roman numeral MM. And people thought that was weird. When you don't get rushed yet, you have to get the adapters. YouTube hated 99 the most. <laughs> Six would be a good one. I hate how they use the buster sound for all of the special weapons. Like, basically, Mega Man 4 and later, it seems like they did that a lot. Like, they couldn't use a wind sound for that weapon. Okay, I think that little one-up is supposed to tell you there's a special item there or something. I think this is one of my more favorite stages, if I'm not mistaken. Flame Man. I must say, I haven't gotten particularly angry yet playing this game. Perhaps my anger management has worked. game has one of the better soundtracks of the later games. Although Mega Man 4, I think, has the best of the 4 through 6 games. Like, see, that's unique, doing the fire like that. So, 
It's weird, I, I keep running into who would have been my, my would-be colleagues when I'm doing the DoorDash, and all that does, man, is it's just like, ugh, goddammit. I'd rather be doing that than the DoorDash. So I, I really hope... Well, number one, I hope I close this deal soon, and number two... And without any deaths or shady dealings happening... And that I get that job. Oh, and, and by the way, my would-be colleagues, I was absolutely right, and uh, the guy that had interviewed before me was, in fact, the guy that got the job, because I, the guy on the panel that was giving me the stink face the entire time, I, I saw them eating together. While I was doing the fucking mobile food delivery, too, and they saw me doing the mobile food delivery, and the guy that gave me the stink face on the panel fucking smirked at me. The one that looked concerned because I did so well in my interview. Ugh. Like, seriously, man. I mean, I didn't get the job. You don't have to fucking smirk at me. I mean, is that really necessary, to fucking smirk at someone? A and laugh and chuckle to yourself? Yeah, I know, I know that's how government works, but... Like, you don't gotta do that stuff, you know? I would just assume you said hello. him up online and he has a very very ugly wife so I'm glad I'm not that guy she looks kind of like Danny DeVito's penguin Yeah, it is. It, it is. It's like it's like Survivor or something. But you know, if that's the way that place works, then it's probably better off I didn't end up uh, getting it anyway. Okay, now I'm getting mad. Papa says, all government bootlickers all suck ass. Yeah, well. I gotten the job, what would have happened for sure is that that dude would have tried to sabotage me, I can tell already. Whoops. I did make a point of saying in my interview that I suck at office politics, and if that goes on, I don't want the job, so...
Hey, why did that enemy respawn? Why did the hippies of the Vietnam era all turn into warmongers for Ukraine? That is mind-blowing. I don't know. There are a lot of cheap deaths in the later Mega Man games. I mean, the earlier Mega Man games certainly had a lot of death in them, but generally, the challenge was not cheap. I think much of it has to do with uh, propaganda. Like, I've had family members that were... self-proclaimed leftists, and... It was... It's weird how it happens. So, basically, it goes something like this. Orange man, bad. And you have to do evil in order to do good. And it just happens that Orange Man is uniquely bad. Ugh, fucking, I hate this level. Parrothead, welcome, my friend. Well, women in particular... Women in particular seem very, very... Certain women... Seem to be... Seem to, like... Really not... I mean, substance... Style over substance. They really hate Donald Trump's style. And that really turns women off for some reason. So, I mean, certain, you know, faux feminist women. true, they do think with their feelings and not rationality. types of levels. Thank you. 
Well, my mother was basically a phony feminist and espoused a lot of this stuff when I was a kid. I was like, none of what you're saying makes sense. And it was because she perceived my grandfather to be some sort of misogynist or something. And all she did was prove him right. And that sentiment that you just echoed there in the chat, RR. Uh, I kind of am with you now. Spartan Flash, welcome, my friend. I don't remember if the upper or the lower path is a secret path. Let's see, I've got three lives. Oh, that's his weakness. Damn it. Oh, well. Seeing the results of the egalitarian feminist policies, they fucking suck, says RR. You're absolutely right. It, because it's not based on rationality, it is based on feelings. Oh, if a charge shot only takes one away from him, I'm in trouble. So, yeah, the feminist idea goes something like this. Uh, the reason you're challenging my ideas is because you're a misogynist. Therefore, my ideas are above challenge. It's like, what? And women do not seem to want to believe that they get that easily manipulated either. Many women, I should say. Like, no, I'm not talking about like your Barbara Corcorans of the world. Because I've, I've dealt with some pretty badass chicks in business. And you know what? They still, they still, I mean, they're still women. They still have uh, the high emotional intelligence that women tend to have. And they, but they play to those as a strength and not as a woe is me, men are the problem. Yeah, so, so yeah, I, I don't understand this feminist. Okay. So you don't see a lot of them clamoring to be like plumbers or farm workers or any of that. on Plant Man. Hang on a second here.
Oh man. Yeah, this weapon deserves a better sound effect because it is one of the better flame weapons that you get. look like enemies from Mega Man X. Damn it. I hate it when they fucking spam me like that. I'm having a little bit of uh, cocoa. Well, this uh, instant um, expre ex espresso. That's really good. I instant espresso is alright. Instant coffee is kind of gross. Well, they think it's cruel because of men, apparently. Unless the man gives them lip service. You know, just... Okay, let's give Trump as an example here, right? So if you proverbially tell, tell them how pretty they are... Then it's okay. But if you see, even though it's clear that that woman that made that a allegation against Trump about the, you know, the graping, even though that's obviously fake, women get upset because he insults her appearance rather than the fact that it's a bogus case. Like, oh, he called her ugly. Oh, he's such a misogynist without even, like, looking at the case, you know? And what's really puzzling 
And I don't mean to be unkind here, but a lot of these women are lesbians, so it doesn't even matter whether a, a man thinks that you're attractive or not. Well, I mean, like, women don't make judgments on the appearance of men? Get the fuck out of here. By the way, if you're talking about equality, I've said it before, but I'll say it again, in the workplace, for example, right? If, if, if a dude is pissing off another dude, or if anybody in the, in the workplace is pissing you off, usually say, hey, buddy, I don't appreciate that. And that's the end of it. Well, many women will say, oh, I don't like this. Objectively, this is bad. And they will go to the boss and fucking rat you out. So... If you're going to function in a world where stuff has to get done and, you, and you're talking about equality, you have to be able to have those conversations if somebody's doing something you don't like or somebody says something that offends you. And much of the time, women don't want to have those conversations because they're afraid somebody will think they're dumb. But spoiler alert, oftentimes they are dumb, and when you have a conversation about these things, it's like, oh, I got that wrong, or hey, you know. It it's just... The world that they want to create is absolutely these feminists want to create, not women that are not feminists, is just Looney Tunes. says, the makeup masks are getting elaborate. Most of them are unrecognizable without makeup. Yep, R says, all the technology has clouded this. It has. There are not as many physically demanding jobs as there used to be. And, and then I think single parents uh, taking the father out of the equation. And part of the reason that women's and part of the reason that a lot of these women don't want the father in the equation is because they basically want a child to treat as a pet. They want that unconditional love. And that unconditional love also often means that there's not going to be discipline and there's going to be a lot of emotional manipulation rather than doing what's in the child's best interest. The father isn't going to do that. The father wants to make sure that he's creating a strong, a strong boy, a strong man. Good father. Papa Cotton says, I've said before. 
When you understand that everything is supposed to be confusing, how can you continue to be confused? Clown pill for the win. Yeah, that's it is a good point. It is. It's supposed to be. You're right. Shit. I really don't like this level. part of the stage. Well, you know, they tested all this stuff out on the black community first, unfortunately. Although, you know, my father wasn't the greatest guy in the world. As far as the man stuff, the basic nuts and bolts, what it you know... You know, if they're, like there's a schoolyard bully and they try something. You know, my mom's like, oh, you know, you need to find out what you did wrong and why he's treating you that way. Or even worse, oh, you must have done something wrong. My father's like, it doesn't matter what you did. He hit you. Go back there and start beating his ass and beat him till he falls down and doesn't get back up. Like, like, women aren't going to understand that stuff. And, that, yeah, I mean, that's how you handle a bully, and it's over. It's over. And, and, you know, these kids that... They're like, stop bullying! You know, the stop bullying movement? A lot of these kids are... Come from, like, single-parent households. They only have the mom, and the mom, and, and the mom wants to nurture the boy. That's what she wants to do because she wants that unconditional love and him being bullied is what makes her feel you know needed to be able to nurture him and so him being bullied is actually in her in her emotional interests whether she knows it or not as where the father is just like beat his ass you know if somebody's mistreating you it doesn't matter why they're mistreating you go beat his ass and then it's o and then it's over it doesn't continue. And then you have, like, these young boys killing themselves because their mothers needed their emotions met or whatever. I mean, the type of bullying that goes on for, like, years. Years. Oh, is this not the right weapon for him? Uh, boys or girls because of it. Yep. boss. I mean, really, a flower weapon? P 
Papa says she's based as fuck. She wasn't having it when my grandkids came back from school with the gender nonsense in their heads. Nice. There you go. That's being a good papa. but I've taught her government isn't her friend her whole life. I don't even think she votes. R says, over 50 years of telling boys they need to get in touch with their feelings. Now, and they want boys to man up for those slut 304s. Yeah. I do think it's good to be able to communicate. But I think the learned victimhood is the problem. I mean, you can still be masculine and be a good communicator. Oh, I guess that wasn't the secret down there. Yamato is. Oh, I got the jet. Sweet. emotions than mild happiness and anger around women is a turnoff no matter what they say. That's a fact. Oh, correct stuff. Okay, they say, I've noticed that women often say that they want, oh, I want a nice guy with a steady job. But that's not who they go for. It's a perversion of our nature, yeah. R says you don't need to to be a crying simp, to be a good communicator, men communicate differently than women. Correct. We're much more direct. And that's not a problem, except for the feminists. When you're driven by emotion and you feel a certain way, as women, you know, women tend to have a predisposition to do, is something that you do with your girlfriends. It's not something that you do when you're around your boyfriend. And, and see if you know that you need those different folks in your life for that stuff. And it's almost like the, the people that came before us knew what they were talking about. 
Like, like they had this whole society figured out with the genders, you know? Way deranged cat ladies. Can't tell if this is the secret exit or not. I've met some extremely based and awesome lesbians in my work. And you know what's great about them is that they're like, hey, I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a man, so I need a, advice for, you know, this young male chi child in the family. And, and they're upfront and they're pretty honest about it. Of course, you know, the lesbians that I know through my work generally tend to be like ranchers and farmers and stuff, so. They, they don't have any time for any of that bullshit. They're just like, <coughs> they're just like, you need to be able to know what you're talking about and have a good work ethic and bust your ass. You know, if you're running a ranch, you gotta feed horses and fucking pigs and cattle and tend to chickens and stuff. You gotta be on that shit. I think this is my favorite uh, stage music. Oh, so that's not a secret over there. Cotton says 85% of women are targeting under 5% of men. Everyone gets rejected. Don't need a marriage with someone like that. Yep. says that's weird because 85% of divorces are initiated by women. Yeah. I just fought was trans. It was just shitting out kids. Yeah, 
Yeah, I never, I never want to get married, ever. Although I've seen some successful marriages. But in every successful marriage I've seen, there's always a dominant partner and a more passive partner. And it's not always the, you know, the man that's the more dominant partner. page out of the Castlevania playbook there. Papa says, women choose who to have sex with, but men choose who they provide for. No man wants to provide for a hoe. Ladies need to figure that out. Yeah, pretty much. The delusion bubble pops usually after they've hit menopause. Really? He's a, he's a, the plant weapon is what gets him? game, I don't remember. I don't think I do, right?
Oh, this music is really relaxing. And I wouldn't associate a centaur with a water level, either. I feel like I would associate a centaur more with, um... Like a Greek kind of theme. I have the jet, otherwise this area would suck. against this person. weapon I would expect a centaur to use. the obvious choice, a knight versus a centaur. man in this one. Thank you. 
Oh, this is my last man. Give me just a second. I'll be right to back. Hello, YouTube, and I'm back. Yeah, I kind of did, Papa. That's all right. Well, the laws are set up to where... The consent laws are so set up that... In some states, and they use Bill Cosby as the example, but there's no statute of limitations on, you know, grape... And the problem is that, unfortunately, uh, some women do lie about that stuff, or they have what you might call buyer's remorse. And so retroactively, what was consensual, suddenly it's like, oh, I just don't like that guy anymore. So, uh, I like equality. I like... Uh, You know, true equality, and if there's true equality, whatever your differences are, they balance out by knowing that in the eyes of the law, and the eyes of society, that the rules are the same and you can adjust. Uh, there's a thing in street racing, right? It's called handicapping. So if you've got like a 454 and someone else has a rice rocket, you maybe give the rice rocket a couple of car lengths to balance things out. Well, it's total bullshit. Handicapping, like, there's no point to handicapping. Go race the 454. If you've got a 454, race the 454. If you've got a rice rocket, race the rice rocket. If you just want to see what'll happen, line them up line to line, and you'll see what the difference is. It's not complicated. and says, Cardi B committed exactly the same thing Cosby wanted, went to prison for, except Cosby didn't rob them to. Yep. Well, Cosby definitely appears to have been a dirtbag, unfortunately.
See, okay, that, 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 that Cosby thing's kind of weird, right? I, I don't mean that the allegations were wrong. What I mean is Cosby himself. Okay. How do you get turned on with somebody just laying there? It, is it so the part, the fun part of sex is the interaction and the interplay with your partner and determining what they like and what they don't like and trying new things and vibing it out and enjoy, you know enjoying that uh, you know mutual embrace. And rolling around in the sack together. I, I don't understand why you'd want to shove your dick in some unconscious woman. Or just like stick your dick in her mouth while she's, you know, passing out and vomiting all over herself. So weird. So yeah, I think there should be a statute of limitations on that. What happened? Dan Schneider. Okay, let's get the last beat part. Forgive me if that's somebody I should know who it is. I, I don't know. Wait, did I unmute myself? Test. Okay, good. Apparently, I'm distantly related to Bob Ross, I learned. Nickelodeon Creeper? Uh, the guy who played Decker in Star Trek The Motion Picture ended up being a Creeper. kid and head of the class I just remember the principal from head of the class because the principal was was uh, in this movie ruthless people and, and the and the principal that gets caught on camera from head of the class uh, with someone that's not his wife and they think it's another character and the principal while well, he's having sex with this woman he's hanging out of the window of the car and he goes more 
And because he's the police chief, they, they show uh, him the footage thinking it's someone else, but he knows it's him in there, and he's like, oh my gosh, I don't, I don't know why you're showing me this. It's not necessary. I'll have to watch Ruthless People again. That dude should have won an Oscar for that. Or My brother and I used to always qu quote that line. Can't find that clip on the internet either for some reason. Ruthless people! I think Danny DeVito directed that, if I'm not mistaken. Ross is the goat. Now he's a Nickelodeon producer who made all the, all the shows that your kid used to watch? Oh, okay. Huh. I did not know that. Oh, okay. So you can't jump on those things. Good, good to know. Bob Ross got ripped off. Bob Ross signed a contract that was not good. Yeah, I guess on the um, the Native American side of the family, um, there are some Rosses, and that's where the uh, relation comes in. Great to watch while sticking a bowl and chilling. Fairly certain he did that before he did his painting. You bitch. Well, I should have named this stream Game and Complain. I think the X Tower is one of the better 
Stages. Get him beat. God, they came up with some really worthless weapons in these later games. Show with Richard and Webb. Man, make this castle stage any more difficult, please?
It sucks that it doesn't give you the option to go back to the uh, other stages. That weapon isn't as useless as it, as it seems. Let's see, which enemy is this one? Is this the... Okay, so I did have the right thing equipped. enemy, I'll give them that. I wish they brought the jet back for other other games. Ah, okay, so that was their way of saying God 
damn it. Tomahawk. Thank <laughs> you. 
this one is. Cheap enemy. Okay, alternate pathways again. I don't think I've ever taken this pathway.
Get him, Beats. So I, I like the Mr. X stage, but I do not like the Wily stage for some reason. battle until, you know, five more games. And with that, we will go ahead and call it a stream. I think that's been enough 8-bit gaming for now. Thanks for hanging, and we will see you. <laughs>